A hidden gem at the site of a Central Florida airport housing nearly 100-year-old warplanes. Wow, News 6 investigator, not investigator, insider guy Crystal Moyer and morning co-anchor takes us to Titusville where a special museum honoring veterans and pilots through historic wartime artifacts. Here is the B-25 missile. Its biggest claim to fame was the uh, dual raid over Tokyo back in April of 1942. This one here does fly. Uh, you may wind up seeing it at a local air show. And to see these old war birds take to the air, it just gives me goosebumps every time. And a sense of pride. Jack Major knows a lot about warplanes, having served in the U.S. Air Force as a crew chief for nearly 30 years. As the saying goes, once you get aviation in your blood, in whatever form, whether it's flying or working on it or whatever, uh, you can't get it out of your blood. So for close to nine, 10 years, it was a void in my life. A void filled once he stumbled upon the Valiant Air Command Inc. Warbird Museum in Titusville. His passion has led him to become a volunteer tour guide, sharing his knowledge and history to visitors like me. The fleet of aircraft sits inside a 30,000 square foot hangar at the Space Coast Regional Airport. There's about 50 warbirds in this museum and about eight of them still take flight. Some of the planes and jets appearing in movies. Here, this is the F-14 Tomcat. I affectionately call it the Tom Cruise Mobile. This is the star of the uh, first Top Gun. Thinking back to these war movies that uh, you've seen on TV and what it must have been like to be flying over enemy territory and getting shot at. The Warbird Museum is mostly run by donations and volunteers, many of them pilots, some even restoring old planes. This is our restoration facility. Many of the vintage aircraft taking months, even years before they are up to par for display in the museum. One of the most unique planes at the museum, this XP-82 twin Mustang piston engine fighter built in the 40s during World War II. And if you didn't notice, it has two cockpits. And it was designed primarily for long range fighter escort for our, our bombers. The average mission would be eight to nine hours possibly. So the primary pilot would maybe take it to the target and then the other guy would fly it home or some such thing. And it is the only XP-82. The Valiant Air Command Warbird Museum opened in 1977 and along with other planes, open cockpit experiences and military vehicles, the museum also has thousands of wartime artifacts and memorabilia. It's open daily to the public. Why is it important to keep this history alive and to keep these out here for people to come in and see when they need to? We need to know where we've been in history and this is a large part of it. I posted more information on the Warbird Museum here in Titusville on clickorlando.com slash insider. In Brevard County, Crystal Moyer getting results, News 6.